M0 FXP Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. M0 FXP, welcome to my channel. Let's show you how to use the ADMS9 free software. So go to the link provided from Yesu and then scroll to the bottom and click the one that says ADMS9 programming software. And this is with the latest firmware in my radio. So let that run. Now we've already got this, so double click the one we've already got and then double click the software double click FTM 100 ADMS 9 DGID and then look FTM 100 ADMS XE click that and you'll end up with this window here okay so now there's a procedure we need to follow so the first thing is we've got the SCU 20 cable connected it is the older cable so we're using Windows 11 so right click here if you're getting an error go right click device manager go to ports if you're getting an error here where it says COM3 just right click click update driver then click uh, browse my computer then instead of clicking browse actually go to let me pick do that and then hopefully you've got an older version on your PC if not just download one the numbers are here you can see them click next and it will do that and then now you can use your older cable on Windows 11 so you don't actually have to buy a new cable as you've been told so next thing you know is set the COM port we saw that that was COM port 3 so we're going to go communication COM port setting and it's definitely number 3 uh, and then we're going to go determine and that's done so next thing you know we want to read from the radio so if we back out to the normal screen that's our normal screen we're going to go to hold down the DISP and then turn our channel knob to number 13 it's called RST clone then we're going to push the, R, the DISP button again and again change the number to number 7 select number 7 and click select because you're now going to go into cloning mode one sends the information from the radio to the PC the other one receives it so there is a, a system of doing this so we'll leave it this radio and other let's go to communications here at the top and it says here get data from FTM 100 click that and then you're going to get these instructions which says everything I just said we're now going to select, as it says on, on here, this radio other and press the ISP. And you have to do it in this order or it won't work. Then click OK on the software on your PC first, like so, and then click OK on your radio and it will now transfer. If you do it the other way around, it goes into an error. So it's now transferring the contents of my radio I've already added a couple of programs on here so it's not a bad speed really I mean the FTM 100 is a nice looking radio isn't it so click close and it's all here we've read our radio so now let's add a channel and then send it back to the radio so we're just going to go one four five uh, dot seven seven five repeater and we're going to the shifts here automatically 0 0.6 uh, repeater is minus FM we'll call it I don't know the name of that procedure. we'll call it GB 3 we we'll just call it WD for now We've got a slider here tone encode is all you need nearly always uh, if it's a 2 meter it would be 94.8 I think that's about it and then you can set your power whether you want it to skip in the in the, in the scan and you can even set your, your steps as well okay so we've, we'll be looking at number 12 memory channel 12 GB3WD so now we want to send that to our radio so what we do on our radio now is we turn the knob to other radio like so to number two then we're going to follow the instructions so we'll go communication but this time instead of saying get we're going to select send remember we're using an SCU 20 cable here we we'll, it's a very similar setup for your SD card but right now we're using 
the SCU20. So to send, we're going to go communications, send data, we get this window, we'll turn the knob on the radio to number two, hit DISP, then we're going to click OK on the, on the radio, it says waiting, click OK on the software and it sends. There you go, it takes a minute or so. Let that complete. It was a nice radio, you know, when it came out, it was very popular. It does wires XPDN and, you know, C4FM, dual watch, APRS, got GPS in there, quite a lot in there. And it's a nice, quite a powerful radio. So we just do it again to show you. Hold down DISP, then you're on 13, then you're on clone. And I want to send it to my radio, so we go to number two, other. Click OK, move that up to OK. Then go communications, check the port. Yeah, three, send data, then we'll click OK on the radio first, it's waiting, and then we'll click OK, and it will send all the contents in. So that's the procedure that we need to remember. If you get it wrong, it can be annoying because it does reset and re you know reboot the radio like it's brand new so you need to get it right uh, so definitely worth making a backup first before you do anything else so 73 thanks for watching my channel and catch you on air quick reboot and then everything will be there all our memory channels even our APRS previous settings and look it's all there There you go. Bye for now. Cheers.